Honeycomb Applied Hot to Stainless Steel. In this video, we're going to use the new honeycomb patina on this stainless steel champagne bucket. We sanded this up a little bit here and there over the years. We haven't really done anything to it, but we meant to, so it was sanded multiple times. Now we're going to use the Sculpt Nouveau metal cleaner and a Scotch-Brite pad and just scrub it up really good. Remember, when working with stainless steel to get a chemical patina, you do need to get through that first layer of nickel and chrome, so sanding is a good idea. The Scotch-Brite pad and the Sculpt Nouveau metal cleaner will make sure that we get all the grease and fingerprints or anything else that might be contaminated on it off, so just make sure you scrub it up really good. I like to use circular motions, but in this kind of design, it's kind of inevitable to be have to do some linear, so that's okay. We'll just go back and try and do a little bit of circular and kind of get it to smooth out so we don't see so, too many striations. Remember, with hot patinas, you do need to heat the metal up to 180 to 200 degrees. So we'll hit this with the torch and warm it up a little bit. And the tricky part is getting it on the inside and the outside, obviously. So normally I start from the inside, it'll radiate out, but I do need to pay attention a little to the outside. Also, with hot applications, make sure you're following the proper safety protocols and you have your respirator, your ventilation, gloves, all that good stuff. But once you're up to temperature, spray it on. You can see you saw a little pink there in the first spray, so you could see it wasn't quite up to temperature, but I always try and start on the inside. Just seems to be a little easier if you do that for me. Um, I went along the outside because the inside was getting a little too warm. So we spray on the outside, and then that will cool down the inside, making it so I can work on the inside. So, you know, I tried to do the inside, but I quickly found out it was just too hot. So that's how we can do this here. But I just sprayed it on in a pretty good layer, and I actually put it on to where it needed to dry on the surface as well. So we're not just getting a hot application. We're going to get a little bit of a golden tone from as, as if we did the uh, honeycomb cold, which gives you a golden color on stainless steel. But essentially you just spray it up real good and I'm going to heat it up now just to dry it. But you can see I'm swirling it around to try and coat the entire bottom because I've put enough in there to where it'll coat the bottom. Put a little extra in there. But overall I'm just trying to cover the surface. Once I've rinsed and dried this off, that is what I was left with. It's a beautiful little rainbow tone in there, kind of looks a mixture of kind of rustic and a rainbow-esque. So I wanted to seal this in with a color lock to help seal in those colors best I can. And again, spraying into a uh, object that's kind of a bucket formation like this or into a sink or any time, you got to be conscientious of when you spray it in, it's going to want to come back out. So make sure you're not hovering right over the top of it and give yourself plenty of space here. Now remember, color lock won't keep 100% of your colors. Some of them will fade, but it's the best one that we have offered, obviously, but the best one that we could find on the market as well to help hold these colors in. And it does a great job of just really kind of showing you the contrast on the outside here and the rainbow color that came on the inside. Really kind of a, a nice finish. But color lock also isn't the strongest clear coat we offer. So I always go over the top with either ClearGuard or Everclear depending on what we're doing. In this case I'm going to use Everclear and really try and seal it in nicely. The color lock is also kind of a gloss so you got to make sure that you you know you want that sheen or you can tone it down like I'm going to do with the satin. And that was just me showing you a reminder how to use the Everclear can. Remember you got to activate the bottom of it once it goes in and out like this then you're good to go. That activator is, is released and you can mix it up real good. Now mix it for a few minutes to make sure that you really have it good though. Normally I would recommend going with two coats of Everclear but for this one we're going to go with three just to be safe. We also had the extra material so it definitely doesn't hurt to put an extra coat on. It's just going to add all that much more protection. But remember you want to wait about an hour in between coats and you definitely want to make sure that the metal is room temperature. If you're doing this out in the sun or it's extra hot today, you may want to look at maybe waiting until it cools down a little bit, maybe earlier in the morning instead. Then you need to make sure that you don't have any moisture so you want to warm that up a little bit again. But if you have any questions about this, especially with the changing uh, temperatures and the different seasons and everything, just give us a call. We'll be happy to help you navigate that. But once we get this nice and coated, we'll be ready to go. And here we have our final piece. 
So we took a few pictures so you can see all the way around it. And you can see how it's kind of like this cool, rustic, but kind of a golden brown. And I really liked how this turned out. It gave me a, a real nice, unique look to it. Not quite rusty, but kind of got that tarnished look. And the inside was just absolutely phenomenal. Got a little rusty look down at the bottom there, but that rainbow all around the surface, on uh, kind of towards the top, is absolutely phenomenal. So really happy with how this turned out. Honeycomb is available at www.sculptnouveau.com or by calling us at 760-432-8242.